Morning. It's Friday. So I have two units that have to be done today. Um, the one we were working in yesterday with all the drywall work, that's got to be finished today. And the one I'm in right now has got to be finished today. Um, the microwave door handle, that bar's got to be put back on. The tents, I don't know. But this was out of the shed, so I'm going to take parts off this to fix that. New lights, new globe, tighten up the handle. Um, I don't know where that went to, but I bought new ones for it. This, uh, cable jack, this is going in there. The toilet that was here is the one I just put in uh, the other turn I did. <laughs> I've done three turns this week. So... And put the towel bars, bars back on, put the shelf in. Um, and there used to be a big heater here, and I cut it out. So in here, we got to put in a cut-in box right there, because that's the wires. That's a 220 line that's feeding the power for all the baseboard heaters. So can't break that circuit. And then this blind, this blind's not broke. It's too big for the window by a quarter of an inch. Down here, it's fine, but it's just barely catching. So I have to take it out without breaking it and cut a half inch off and put it back up. So this unit here, is, it's rented out for Monday. So is the other one. So ain't nothing like getting, but get on. The other one, I still gotta do all the trim work, do all the touch up paint, caulk, uh, replaced the tub spout the garbage disposable found out yesterday is locked up so and caulked the kitchen it's a bunch of little stuff but it's going to take a while so that's uh, a bunch of trim work so let's get started on this and get this stuff done get this toilet installed hopefully because the contractors want to bought this they bought this toilet put it together and then it wouldn't fit in the apartment see how long it is from from here to here, that the, the t tank is extended back. So I need a longer toilet for this one because the one that was here, I had five inches between the tank and the wall. So this should work. Let's get this on there. Most of the time these screws break off. 
this one here is just covered with grease. So I usually only get two screws holding it on. Scared me there for a minute, thought the thing was broken. Cleaner didn't do a very good job. There's a lot of grease underneath this bar, boy. say about these light bulbs if you ever have to replace them just put in, uh, put LEDs in there because these are incandescent bulbs and they burn up because people love to use microwave for a freaking night light yeah they're pricey <laughs> They're, they're pricey, man. One of these balls is ten bucks. You know, you gotta look at it. You know, if you're plus the light bulbs last longer. And for me, I would rather put an LED in. Because on, on circumstances like this, because I know they'll just turn them on and leave them on for days at a time. off of this it's trash this is done I gotta put that on yeah that's a beautiful paint job anyways put that ring on a uh, couple of mollies to hold that cover in place plug that in bounce I'm gonna go back to the trim job let's do this man that's how I get it out when they glue them in each piece man Yeah, somebody put power grab in there, which is how I'm gonna have to put it back in there. You know what I'm saying? Because the other side doesn't even have a wall to it, so. Cool. That's how I show you that. Just one screw in it, use a hammer, pop it out. I'm back. Only thing I gotta do in the kitchen is to caulk around the rim. Uh, the living room's done. I need to re-secure this trim, put new trim there, paint that semi-gloss, and then just do all my finish up in there. Uh, we're going to cut the holes out for this stuff and install it in the back. Uh, cut that off and caulk it in here. I just got to secure the trim, caulk, paint, paint, caulk that gap. Paint around the tub, put the shower rod back up. Paint there, right there. Get that paint up. Uh, access panel for the clean out. Paint this wall, piece of trim, put the doors back on. Uh, put the strike plate in here because I need long screws and trim. And it's only 9.20. I started at 6.30 because I knew I had a whole lot of stuff that had to be done. So, anyways, I 
that's the wrong size grip pan for it. See if I can adjust that. Also got to replace the garbage disposal. It was locked up. So I'm going to go ahead and this trim uh, is really super close to being the same size. Uh, but I don't have to match up to anything. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and install all my trim. And then we'll, then I'll do the painting on it. It's just a little, I, normally I would paint it, let it cure overnight and then install it. But I ain't got time for that today. So I'll paint it after it's installed. Cool. Let's do it, man. Yes. So in the last couple of videos, you've seen me use a laser level. This is a, a Sigmund, okay? And why I really, I like this a lot is because I can turn off your my horizontals um, and just leave a vertical on. You know how it is. You can turn off the side, the front, the top. Um, here, I just need the vertical or a horizontal. I don't need the vertical. So I'm gonna turn those off, right? And the mount that it comes with, it just screws on the bottom. It's adjustable. You can spin it all the way around, right? If you push it all the way over, so it's as close as it can, it's got magnets on there. And it, it'll hold on to a corner bead. It's not really super strong. I've got like 10 coats of paint on that. So it, even though there's a lot of paint on it, I'm still able to catch it. And it's also, it's got the little hole there. Where you can shoot a drywall screw through to hold on to it if you need to like if you need to put it in the middle of a wall but for this i've got a lot of paint on there so it's not the best connection there we go that way i can set the height on my uh, items i want Like I said, I've got massive amount of paint on there, so it's kind of hard to uh, get it to stay on there sometimes. So that's where I want to put my, well, I like to put it down a little closer than that. About like that. Okay, so let's drop it down. Um, the reason why it's down past the rim is because this has a half inch lip. I gotta clean this off and then I uh, cut out a square in the wall and then power grab around here and stick it in there and it's good to go. It won't come off. I mean, it will if we beat on it, but. So I thought I'd put, uh, cause I'm right handed. I thought it looked really nice if I had those right there. You know, what do you think? What do you think I should put them on there or not? Maybe, maybe not. I think it'd be cute to have those there, you know? That frees up a little countertop space. Or I could put it like this to where it's right underneath the medicine cabinet. Right? I don't know. What do you think? 
I just I don't want to throw these away, man, because they're they if you had to go buy these, these are real expensive. You know. I kinda like it. It goes with the towel bar. So, anyways, I'll show you the box that this comes in. So it comes in a case. It's pla it's it's like a cloth water resistant ish kind of material. And it, it's folds right in there. It does come with a remote. That's cool. So if it's like way away from you, you can turn it on and off if you need to. Um, but also it's rechargeable. So it comes with the cord and everything. So anyways, I have another product that they sent me. They sent me another product, a measuring tape, digital measuring tape. So we're going to do a product review on that next week. Um, right along with this, you know, this is kind of product review. I like that a lot because it's it comes in this little case. I throw it in the truck. I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Um, and I, anytime I need to do something like this, bam, it's right there, you know? It just makes it more convenient, you know? They're not too expensive. Um, I think they got a, a discount code. I'll, I'll look to see if I get a discount code if I do. Uh, actually, I'll get a hold of them. I'll have, give them me a discount code and I'll put a link in the description. Cool. Let's get this done, man. So I just took the multi-tool and went around the edge sideways. Just to knock off that extra. So now I got my height uh, where I want to put it. So, so all I got to do is um, measure this out. I think it's three by three. Four by four. Four inches by four inches. This is my excess panel for this. This is what it is. You can get these at Lowe's, Home Depot, whatnot, ever. You can get them in different sizes. I use them for uh, above the tubs when the ceilings start leaking. So it's uh, it's about a half inch thick uh, on that right there, that rim. So I'm just gonna start it. We're gonna put it right here. 
that way there's plenty of room to get to it you just mark around it and this is just the inner marking because once you do that yep you know, I use this as my edger but um, you need just a hair bit bigger than that I mean let's do it this way This is my straight edge. Just a little bit bigger than the actual set. So let me go get shot back. So I got the blower going in there uh, because I caulked around the toilets, cabinet, sink, trim, all that stuff. Um, I've got to go get that vent return, vent cover for the furnace. And by the time I get that, yeah, by the time I get back from that, I, I'm gonna go to lunch. Uh, then I can install the vent return and then do the paint. The paint is just walk through and touch up stuff, like around the sink, the trim, uh, yeah, so. And then got to do garbage disposable. Now I've got to get this installed. It goes right here. And I have to cut the bottom out, cut it down. It's usually about an inch. Let me get my pencil. That's usually a good little job here. You can put it up there, and it usually covers up all this nasty. And I'll just mark it. On bo uh, across the bottom so, so I have to cut this steel flange out and most of the time I have to notch this metal up too so let's do this I got me a new mask ain't that cool it's Klein it's uh, for minor dust Yeah, so when installing this uh, ring around here, it you would think it'd be real simple, but it's not. You got an L channel there, that's about an inch by inch, and then the drywall, once you get that all out of the way, then you gotta cut the two by four that's behind it. You'd think it'd be a really easy install, but it's actually not. This whole process took about half an hour to get it in because it's not easy to install that and then this one here had a metal I've never had one that had the metal plate on there that's what I'm taking off now so once I get that pulled out then we'll be able to get to the 2 by 4 underneath it All the sparking I just did, cutting that metal, I just set the smoke detector off. <laughs> Had to get up, take it off the wall, take another one. It's always a pain in the butt to try to get it to go back. It, It's really comical because you only have to take it back, it only has to go back a half inch. Want past the drywall. So, try not to bust up the wall too much. And then I get irritated because the saw wouldn't cut. A lot of test fitting. We gotta bend that flange out of the way. Still got that metal rim it's catching on there. Now I gotta cut the cut two by four. Just so what happens I have my saw with me. So we're just gonna take them. This is one of those uh, half moon blades and it wouldn't cut the wood. So we got the circular saw out. Get it.
careful when I prime that out. And of course, you know, get a little overzealous and pop, I just crack the drywall. The other thing about this install is the upper part of the door covers up the screws that holds the upper panel on. So in order to get in there to work on the wiring, this will have to be removed. That's why it's kind of kind of a pain in the butt to install, but it's good. Some shorty self tappers. Another about an inch long, inch and a half, inch quarter self tappers. So I gotta catch that metal rod. We'll uh, clean this up and show the back. I'll probably go, uh, I'll probably wait and get the uh, foam board to go in here. I like that a lot better because it, it's a uh, vapor barrier, you know what I mean? Because there's a big hole back here in the back. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'll have to go get the steel brush, comb it down, man. But for right now, there's a filter. Cause I still got a lot of stuff to do. So this is fine the way it is. We clean this mess up. Cause now I gotta I got get the painting done because um, the contractor that did the bathtub, he's on his way back. So I gotta get my painting done real quick like. Well, that's that. It's 2.30, 2.40. That guy that was in the bathroom, that's the dude uh, spraying the tub. So he's there to do the touch-ups on the tub where we had a couple little runs. I, I couldn't, I'm done. You know, when, he's, when he takes care of that, I, I can't be in there because it, it has a toxic odor. Anyways. Living room, kitchen, I had to replace the garbage disposable, caulk around the countertop, they all put all the trim in, did all touch-ups, blah, 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 blah. Done, son. I'm off for three days, man. It's my birthday. Monday, my birthday. I'm an old man. I'm so old, I don't even know how old I am. I think I'm 53, I think. <laughs> even if I was 52, well, technically I'm 52 right now. I still run laps around 20 year olds. Four, four days. Five days. Whatever. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. I'm out, man.